We have made it to Medellin. As you can see, I'm doing a workout. <laughs> I am so pumped because the elevation is still so high here. But anyway, let's get some steps in and then we'll continue on our day. <sighs> I gotta stop talking. All right, we're venturing out of our apartment. We're heading to Envigado. So we are at the train station near our place, which was confusing because the maps don't make any sense on the road. When you just walk here, it makes a lot more sense. So don't follow the maps if you're in Medellin. <laughs> Just follow the people. Got you uh, cheese, you got to keep it up. You got three flavors. They eat it off the hot plate. Where are we? What's down? We are at Black Pepper, a steakhouse. Yeah. In... We're in Envigado. Oh, we're in Envigado. We... homey place. Oh, where we got the train to before, but we went back home and then caught an Uber because Ubers here are so cheap. It costs us like six to eight dollars. Four, four dollars eighty. In total? $4.80 for both of us. Yeah, so $2.40 AUE. Wow. Just to get a 15 minute, 15 to 20 minute ride. Uh, but yeah, the soccer finale is on in Medellin versus some other place. Yeah. So everyone is out and about on a Wednesday night and we're getting steak and going to watch the soccer. $24 for steak, a steak. Mac. Which is normally like at least 60 Each. <laughs> I see just watching the game. I'm not going to play good, I'm not staying in a nice little apartment for Medellin, which is really, really good because it's got like a washing machine, which you can probably hear on, but you can also do groceries. So I just scrambled up some eggs and I'm going to finish off some Greek yogurt. Let's head to do some work. We are two weeks into our trip, so it's just nice to kind of have a bit of a reset. So let me give a quick tour of our apartment because I think it is very ideal if you're on like long-term kind of travels. A walk-in wardrobe, which is just humongous. This is view. It is so nice. That is the thing about Medellin. There is so much greenery within the city. It's literally insane. Like it's one of the coolest, most unique parts about it. It's just all the greenery everywhere. And the roads and everything, the walking paths are completely built all around it. I've been having a bit of a routine here in Medellin so, and then we're going to probably go out for breakfast today because we discovered there was a Turkish breakfast spot which if you know me from my previous travel vlogs Turkey was my favorite place particularly just for the breakfast it was insane so there's like apparently an authentic Turkish breakfast so I'm really really excited to try that oh my god there's a bee anyway coffee treadmill and then I'll take you to the turkey breakfast place. There's so many different cuisines. So if you're coming here to explore food, it is so affordable to go to like the most amazing restaurant and it is literally so cheap. So you might as well do it here. <laughs> even explain what just happened. Basically we caught the train to the other side of Envigado. I don't Medellin, even know. Just, like, Medellin, just Medellin. Medellin in general. Which is a huge city. And then there's all these cable carts that everyone's just getting on straight from the train. For we free. Assumed, For free. <laughs> we assumed you gotta get on a cable cart to get out into the streets and stuff. Turns out the cable cart will make you extremely nauseous. And it's just a loop. And it's just a loop. And you go up a very steep hill and basically see the whole view. But I do not recommend if you get severely <laughs> nauseous. Well, don't sit backwards, baby. 
We don't know. I don't know the whole thing. But now we um we got off so we could get fresh air. But then we we're like, oh, you literally just do a loop. So either way, we kind of have to get back on the cable car. And because we exited, we will now have to pay again. <laughs> I find it more fun. It's, it's like, like a, a roller coaster. Like a roller coaster. But it's very nauseating. Maybe because we're sitting back. Yeah, I think so. Hopefully we can go forward this time and see what happens. Alright, sit. This what? Side, sit this oh, this one. No, this one. Breakfast? Yeah. No. Oh, no. <laughs> We survived. It was better on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> it was sweaty though. Anyway, back on the train we go. Or no, are no, we no. walking? We're walking what somewhere. What tour are we about to kind of do? It's called Communa 13. Just like the Esco. Um, the what? <laughs> Escobar. Pablo Escobar kind of tour. Kind of, but you can do it yourself. Which is, I think is what we're kind of doing. What the dangerous streets used to be like. Yeah. So the danger we found a little i don't even know a little side street restaurant we couldn't the... order anything we're basically in like the, the bronx, bronx of <laughs> medellin so we couldn't read the menu she was kind of shocked that we didn't know spanish as funny. as you should be but like the other places have just been like oh no but then like she was just like what the heck like she basically said to us what the heck you don't know like, spanish how do you tell you anyway, so then we ordered a, a lemonade and then we just said um well, first she didn't even bring out a menu. She was just like, order, as if we knew the menu. <laughs> anyway, so we ordered some doz of something, barbecue. And then we said a lemonator. It's a, a limonator. It's so nice. Ooh, wow. Ooh, I like it. It's literally just straight lime and ice. And probably a fuck ton of sugar. Yes. But it doesn't taste that sugar. No, it just tastes lime. And um, I love being in the Bronx vlogging. <laughs> The Bronx is the place to be. Some look, you can't read a menu, you can't order anything, but you just order something and it's like stinky all around the street, but you come in the restaurant, you just it's know dirty. it's gonna be the best food meal of 100%, 100%. your life. <laughs> so if I look, if it tastes like shit, I'll bite my own words. <laughs> It'll be good. It has to be. This is already good. Mm. And I've never had a limonator. A limonator. Turns out we ordered dreams. <laughs> Oh my god, I love ribs though. Around eight Australian dollars, and our drink was a dollar fifty Australian dollars. Very, very cheap. Wait, what day are we up to? Seventeenth, no, sixteenth. Seventeenth. Oh, I think we're up to day day five in Medellin, and we're heading out for dinner, which pretty much is every night. So we're going out for steak tonight. So we'll take you along. We'll show you what we eat. We had sushi. Oh, sushi was two nights ago. That's actually the most recent footage. I think. Yes. Go ahead and watch the what we eat in a day while traveling, because I feel like that'll give a really good insight into more of back into our lifestyle and how we apply that while we're traveling. So check that video out. But we will take you along for the vlog tonight to what we eat for dinner. Actually, really stormy weather tonight as well. So we'll be ordering an Uber because Ubers here are crazy cheap. Probably similar to Portugal. I feel like I paid cheaper. very- You reckon it's cheaper? So yeah, cheaper. I think it might be as well. But we've been going like 15, 20 minutes and it literally costs $2 each. Or, um, so like one of them was $2 total. for like a 10, 15 minute ride. Crazy. We're going to Poblado and we're going to, what's the steakhouse? It's also called El... La Pampa. Oh, That's where I went last night. Oh, we're we going actually to a different one. Oh, we're going to a different one. So yeah. we will, I'll film that wherever we end up. But meat cuisine. I'll find out what the restaurant is soon and so will you. <laughs> but yeah, catch Ubers if you come to Medellin because you're literally crazy if you don't. This time I've really had to wear a jacket. It's probably not actually cold, but it is. No, no, it actually, it does get cold. Is it kind of cold? Oh, well, I got a long sleeve on and a jacket. So we should be good. Contact, that was different Annie. I should just send me Lesson back. from all of this is save, save contacts. contacts. I don't think anyone is like you though. Surely you're the, not the most. Yeah, not everybody the remembers minority. the numbers off by heart like what I do. Uh, yeah, that's strange. Anyway, dinner time, Uber time.
Yeah. I'm kind of glad I didn't wash my hair now. Because it's raining. <laughs> I don't understand how water fucks your hair up so much. It does. Like, Comment no, below, ladies. No, but in general, but a shower with, which has water plus some conditioner with some makes it nice. Comment below, all the ladies on here. Men can just wash their hair with just water in the shower and it doesn't change anything. If you have a hair wash day, two days in, you cannot just get your hair wet with water. You either need to completely wash it or you just can't wash it. But why? And men can't understand. Like, I don't want to get my hair wet, but it's just a fact. I don't know why. It's but just why a can't fact. it just dry and go back to what it was? No. No. Why don't you just crack it. an egg in it like Paul Saladino? Oh yeah, I have been trying to wash my hair with eggs. Yeah. It's got very good minerals in it for your hair and a lot more natural. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> Oh, there's no one to cover. Right. Oh shit. Ah. I know. Hair's wet. <laughs> Why did I even do it? See, that is what I mean. Anyway, we are at yeah. my level. Oh my god, I can't even get past the salt. Oh. Oh. Ah, beautiful. Gracias. 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 Oh, did I scan it multiple times? So we are still in Medellin, Colombia, but literally in the exact same building where you've been seeing in the apartment that we had in the exact same building but we had to move out of that apartment and we've kind of just moved across the other side of the building which is just into like the hotel part kind of but it was still all on airbnb basically we had the other place until the 18th which is today so like added an extra two nights instead of the other two nights but they didn't have it available in our airbnb so we just literally swapped to another room because it was pretty much the same so now we're in kind of a hotel so i thought i'd like show you around two more nights here in medellin before we finally leave Colombia. Colombia and go to Mexico. Let's do a bed test. Ooh, that is so much better. How many planes have we been on and we've had a spare seat next to us? No one next to us. I, I paid for extra seats on every flight. My mother doesn't know. Don't believe it, but. Oh my god, I could. Oh, smell. Me or your my toes? Shoes. Toes? <laughs> the most toes I've... stank today. It's my birds. The toes. <laughs> what? Oh. That stinks. Anyway, oh. anyway um, let's see if anyone sits next to us. But if not, we are on our way to. Um, I mean, either way, we're on our way. Chuita de Mexico. Chuita. Subida de Mexico. Chuita. Subida. 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 Mexico. But anyway, we're on it. Four hour flat. Four and hour. Mexico. Anyway, you need to get absolutely kicked off. Late. This is not a cute angle. Cinco. Cool. 